In this video, we're going to take a very simple example and consider some of the optimization features we want to use in React to work better with the grid. Now, AG Grid itself is optimized for React, and it will have a reduced set of rendering uh, cycles because it's built to be fast and effective. But very often when we're using AG Grid, we're wrapping it in our own components, and we need to take more steps to make sure that we don't introduce any performance overheads. For example, I could have accidentally missed out the parameter on use effect, in which case every time this rendered, it would be going off and doing a fetch operation. So I have to remember to make sure that we add in the points where we want to use these effects so that they only ever happen once. The other thing we might want to do is rather than using declarative column definitions, we can use an object to represent the column definitions, which will allow us to change them at runtime. So let's create the objects to do that. So I will have a call defs state, and we will have set call defs to allow us to amend it. And we will be using state for this. And the default state will be an array of objects which are the fields. So we've got the make field, the model field, and the price field. Let me format that to make it clearer. And to maintain consistency with the code we had before, I want this to be editable. Now, because this is an object, it's just JavaScript, it's a lot easier to amend. I don't have to worry about using the GSX, but I need to make sure that my grid will now use this column definition. So we'll say column defs equals call defs and get rid of the previous declarative columns. And there we go. So now I have column defs in state. It's a little bit easier to work with this. If I let me create a little example to show that. So let me add another effect in here. Now this will, in three seconds time, set the column definitions. So there's only two column definitions rendered. So let me save that. And one, two, three, we've lost one of the columns by design because we're now changing it using the state at runtime. This makes the grid more maintainable and flexible. And we could do this with any of the items in here. There's no reason why the default column definition needs to be encoded in there. That could be an object as well. Now, anything that is going to be a fixed object, we probably want to memoize it so that it won't change. So rather than the column defs being state here, they could be a standard use memo. And we want this when it's mounted. Let me just shortcut that. There we go. So now I've made sure that this is cached using memoization and it's set when we first load it up. This could be dependent on a state so that if we wanted to, we could change this uh, later on. And this is set up when the component is first mounted. So we've gone a little bit towards making sure that we are not adding any rendering issues on top of the optimized grid and using an object for the column definitions just makes everything a little bit easier to maintain. So we're no longer using this row data. And there you go. There is a simple example of a fixed set of columns bringing in data from the server using memoization for the constants and making sure that we only issue an API call once when the component is mounted. And the code for this is available on GitHub and come over to aggrid.com or have a look at our documentation for more tutorials and examples to help you get started using AGGrid with React.